The grid splitter is a control that allows the user to resize the rows and columns in a grid. The grid splitter is available in the WPF and in Silverlight. It's not available in the WinRT and in Windows Phone. The reason for that could be that it's a great control for mouse input, but maybe it's not so good for touch input. But anyway, let's see how it works in the WPF. By default, the grid splitter resizes rows or columns based on its alignment. Let's assume you have a grid with three rows. You put your grid splitter into the second row and you vertical align it to the top. In this case, the grid splitter will resize the first and the second row, or to say in general, the previous and the current cell. Now when you center your grid splitter, it will resize the first and the third row, or in general, the previous and the next cell. You will have the same effect when you set vertical alignment to stretch. Now you can already imagine what will happen when you vertical align your grid splitter to the bottom. It will resize the current and the next cell. Now the open question is, when does the grid splitter resize rows and when does it resize columns? The answer is quite simple. When the grid splitter is wider than high, like in this sample, it will resize rows. When the grid splitter is higher than white, it will resize columns. Ok, now let's switch back to our friend viewer application and let's put a grid splitter into the application layout. I'm here back in Visual Studio in the main window of the friend viewer application. You can see here I have the navigation control and now I want to put a grid splitter between the navigation and the friend control. So let's just add the grid splitter control here. Let's say horizontal alignment right. Let's put it into grid row 1. And let's give it a width of 3 units. And I also set the background property to red. Alright, now we see this little red line here, which is our grid splitter. As it is higher than white now, it will resize columns and not rows. So when we run the application, we can use the grid splitter to resize the columns of the grid. Ok, in this demonstration you have seen the grid splitter in action. Now let's look at the other panel glasses.